Today we're gonna take a look at the Kiri Engine app and all the new exciting stuff that were introduced in the 2.10 release, especially with the new iOS 17, which might change the way we think about 3D scanning and photogrammetry. Kiri Engine, for those who don't know what it is, it is a 3D scanning software that allows you to easily scan any object you want by taking pictures and uploading them to be processed in the cloud. The app is available for Android and iOS, but in this version specifically, with the new updates to the Object Capture API, the app can now take advantage of that to produce even faster and very accurate scans in the fraction of the time. And here is the catch. All calculations are done on your device, not on the cloud. In a previous video where we talked about 3D scanners, we mentioned that having the LiDAR scanning data as an input would enhance the speed of the scan tremendously. And what's going on here is exactly that, real-time photogrammetry. And it is even mind-blowing that no processing is done on the cloud. Everything is calculated locally on your phone. However, this will be exclusive to iOS devices equipped with LiDAR scanners and running the latest iOS 17. This means only the iPhone and iPad Pro models. Coming back to object capture, the fact is, the tech itself isn't actually something new. It was introduced back in WWDC21 as a photogrammetry algorithm for macOS, and back then, it didn't make the splash it garnered lately because it didn't bring anything special. It has all the shortcomings of any 3D scanning technology like not being able to scan shiny or reflective surfaces, as well as transparent or simple colored objects. On top of that, back then it only ran the M-series chips on Mac computers and laptops, which greatly limited the usage of the Object Capture API. But now, the new Object Capture API update changed everything. It can run locally on your iPhone device, and the speed at which it delivers a photorealistic 3D model is remarkably short. In three passes and in a few seconds, it's able to match shots and camera angles and do all the calculations required to bring that real object to 3D. It's actually mind-blowing how far the technology has come. I, for once, don't consider myself as an iPhone user, not by a long shot. So by default, I'm an Android user, but seeing AR and VR technologies lately on the other side really makes me want to get an iPhone just for that. Kiri Engine is actually one of the first apps to implement and provide the Object Capture API. I may provide them for the iPhone and the iPad Pro models completely for free. So to start using the feature in your phone, you have to make sure that your phone is updated to the latest iOS 17. Also, make sure you update your Kiri Engine app to the latest 2.10 version. You will find the new object capture under the Scan with LiDAR section. Once in capture mode, all you need to do is frame your object. Or you can adjust the framing manually by manipulating the handles on the screen. Next, you can hit Start Capture and start moving slowly around the object that you are trying to scan. Progress at the bottom of the screen will keep track of your point cloud and your progress. Now you will be asked to rotate your object and do another pass to capture the object from all angles, and a third time once you flip the object again. And if the object is not flippable, the algorithm can actually detect that and ask you just to walk around at a different height instead of flipping it. Once all these three segments are done, you will hit finish and wait for the scan to process. It will take a couple of minutes give or take, and again. The beauty of this is that everything is happening locally, so no cloud, no servers, which is crazy because even today, running photogrammetry on a PC, it will take far more time. However, if high quality and high detail is what you're after, then photogrammetry is still the one with the better results, but the object capture approach actually produced great results. Originally on the object capture API, the produced 3D model can only be exported in USDZ format, but on Kiri Engine, you can also export it as OBJ, which is great for a wider applications. But it will not export any PBR maps or quad mesh export, at least not yet. The team was rushing to bring this feature to the app, so expect all the above and more in the near future. But if you want to know more about the reason and how can a phone accomplish this task, you can check out Kiri Engine developer video to learn more. But in a nutshell, the technology leans heavily on two aspects. 
The first is Apple Silicon's neural engine. The software is optimized for one single chip, which makes it really efficient to run. The second aspect is the LiDAR scanner, which you can see it contribute to the scan by helping with the camera alignment. Camera alignment or camera post calculation is usually the most resource intensive steps as matching all those camera angles requires a lot of time. So this is it. The Kiwi Engine app looks very promising. You can try it for free by following the link in the description and start scanning stuff around you. Me personally, I think this is a great tool for game developers and 3D artists if you want to include stuff in your scenes. And kudos for Apple for keeping the 3D scanning stuff running. However, I'm still mad about their USB Type-C charging port for iPhone because, I mean, how can you include Type-C charger without fast charging? That's like having a Tesla that runs on gas instead of electricity. Doesn't make sense. Or does it? Alright guys, I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.